And it's Market Monday with the Wolf Earth Farmers Market. Today we're featuring two other newer vendors you can find every Saturday. A new fermented foods condiment and uh, food company. So we produce uh, fermented, uh, lacto-fermented condiments, which include our hot sauce called Pepper Mat. We have a fermented pepper spice, like a chili powder uh, called Spice Mat. Uh, a uh, sauerkraut, which is going to be part of our food component, which is, uh, of course, fermented cabbage. Um, and then our next offering will be the mustard mat, which is uh, fermented mustard. So the sauerkraut is, um, of course, it's fermented, so there is a sour component to it. Sour, S-A-U-E-R, um, translated to English, from German to English, means acidic. So it has that kind of acidic, sour flavor. Um, but I increase the salt content on it, so it's a little bit more salty. Um, so this has got an excellent flavor. P traditionally, people use it on sausages or hot dogs, um, uh, but we, I love it on nachos. My, uh, we also put it in our ramen, um, our ramen noodles. The hot, set, hot sauce is a habanero-based hot sauce. It is hot, but it's a smooth heat. It's not overpowering, um, so it, it, uh, it doesn't last too long, but it's you know, a heat on the tongue, but also in the throat. But the flavor is, uh, is, more, uh, is stronger than the heat. Um, and then the, the, the spice mix, which is uh, basically just the dried version of the hot sauce. So I dehydrate the, the pulp or the, the solids of the hot sauce and grind it down and it, it makes a great spice for beans or to add to chilies or anything like that. The mustard, of course, is a, a mix of yellow and brown mustard, so there is a spicy component to it. We also use the, the brine from the pepper sauce, so it has that element in it as well. It has a little bit of spiciness um, and the, the heat from the habaneros, um, but it's got a great kind of salty, mustardy flavor. Really this technology, um, it's becoming more and more popular because of our wireless environment that we are all in. You know, we're all surrounded by uh, wireless devices, cell phones, laptops, iPads, iPods, uh, our video game systems that our kids and our grandkids are playing with. And our bodies, the human body, is actually being affected by those microwaves, that RF energy, that EMF and EMR frequencies. And so this technology, think of it as a filter, it helps to minimize how the human body is affected health-wise by um, wireless activity. There is so much research out there. Uh, independent studies have already proven um, that when the human body absorbs uh, wireless energy, that affects us at a cellular level, it affects how our blood cells work, it causes inflammation in the body, sleeping disorders in some people, migraines, um, the list goes on and on and on. So again, this technology is like a filter and it minimizes how the body is being affected by our wireless environment. You just wear it. So it works through your nervous system. Um, the human body, uh, we are made out of electricity, okay? So we have electricity going through the body and that's why we are affected so much by this invisible wireless environment. So this is really frequency technology. This locks into the human body's natural frequencies and think of it as a stabilizer or a filter. Some of my biggest customers right now are actually law enforcement. Uh, law enforcement, first responders, nurses and doctors, we consider them the highly radiated workforce. The pricing on them, because I'm here in Wolf Earth, um, actually do some really good pricing for this local community. Um, online, yeah, they're, they're a little pricey. You're welcome to look online and see.